<laughs> so I drill some new bowling balls. So the, the two balls that I drilled is the Halo and the Intense Fire. And when I drilled them, I honestly had no idea what to expect. I obviously heard a lot about the Halo, about how big of a hook monster it was, and oh my gosh, all those like crazy things when they say about bowling balls before they come out or when they originally come out, I try not to listen to it because honestly, at the end of the day, a bowling ball is a shape and a shape does a certain thing and people like certain shapes and certain times and that's really all it boils down to, especially when you're a competitive ball. So when I drilled the Halo, I thought, well, okay, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. So I just went ahead and drilled it nice and normal. I mean, I got a chance to throw it on Monday, and when I threw it, the first thing I noticed was that it grabbed the lane really, really quickly. And what happens a lot of times when a ball does that is when it starts to go down the lane, it's generally pretty slow. It doesn't like to, to, to have a lot of like angle because when it hooks in the front part, it burns up all the energy. And the first thing I noticed about this ball was is it, it wanted to read really early and also continue which I think is why a lot of people were talking about how big of a hook monster it was and everything because it's rare to see a ball hook really, really early and then try and have like this angular motion. Well, I ended up throwing it for four games during the tournament. It was a Labor Day tournament and it was on a pattern. It's kind of a puddle of oil in the middle which made it perfect for this ball. And so for the first four games, I bowled pretty good with it. It's the only four games I've bowled with it. Um, but for those four games, if I had to suggest anything, I would say if you buy a Halo, drill it, Pretty normal, your favorite layout, um, and then it's probably going to work best when there is a lot of oil for one on the lane, but in particular a lot of oil in the middle part of the lane. That's my recommendation on the Halo. I actually really like this. I, I really like my Sherlock and my Idol and my Arsenal, and so when I, they came out with this, I wasn't quite sure where I was gonna put that. But I'm, I'm gonna keep tinkering with it and I'll let you guys know exactly what goes on. Now the Intense Fire came out a little bit before the Halo, so I got a good chance to see quite a few of these go down the lane, and it was pretty obvious that the original intense this one is a little smoother it reads the lane a little bit earlier it's a little bit stronger uh, which I think is what they want because the the intense is pretty like clean and quick through the fronts and then it wants to be like way like explosion in the back part of the lane so this is like a compliment off of that and it gives you like that more rolly type ball which is the type of shape that a lot of professional bowlers use because when you bowl on hard patterns the first thing you want is control like having a big hook is nice but if you can't control it in the one three then you're not going to score very well especially against the best in the world when i drilled this well i wasn't quite sure because i have i already have a lot of slow bowling balls in my arsenal the phase two the idol the sherlock are the, my my three slowest um and then i got i have an iq tour in there somewhere i have a high road a hustle ink um and a fuse i was thinking about where i was going to put this ball and I, I, I wasn't quite sure, to be honest. So what I did was I kind of like tried something different. And I put the pin in the ring finger and I drilled it out. And this layout is what I use, and you guys can try this at home if you want. I mean, I don't know if it's gonna work for you guys or not, but this layout is the one that, that I used on my original high road. My original high road was the ball that I went to when I needed something like really clean, like late in the block. Um, and sometimes it was like too small, too weak of a bowling ball, but for the most part, I really like the shape it made with this layout. So when I put it on it, in my opinion, and so far what I've experienced was this is the most angular layout I can put on a ball. So when I, I saw this like kind of clean, smooth ball, I decided to put the most angular. Oh, also another thing is usually when I use this layout, I put a weight hole in it. And this one I did not because in 2020, we're not going to be able to use layouts or weight holes. So uh, I decided to go ahead and try and uh, get used to it, I guess. That layout uh, is the, is the, most angular layout I have and when I threw it on Monday in the practice session from the get-go 
uh, it was clear that it was it was really angular. And what what happened was it was it was a clean ball, and it's strong in the mid lane, and then it wanted to be angular in the back end. And a lot of times, especially when you're bowling on like patterns, that's not the shape you want. It actually looked really really well the last couple of games when they broke down. The fact that it got to the pocket with like this strong motion later in the block is kind of what I was looking for. If you're wanting to put like a quick layout on the intense fire, um, I would say it's probably going to be more for house shots. Um, if you're going to want to like put it a little bit closer to your pap, a little bit more rolly, this is like a good weaker ball for like the Sherlock or the Idol. Maybe even a compliment to the Phase 2. So in progression, Sherlock, Idol, Phase 2, and then you could probably throw the Intense Fire in there as well. Yeah, I wanted to show you guys the, the balls I drilled uh, because I really don't, I, I haven't drilled any balls in like two months. It feels, or I guess like a month because the one thing I noticed is with Storm is I've put together an arsenal I really, really like. Like I don't really feel the need for any new balls. So when they came out with, you know, the Halo uh, and the Winter and the, the the Intense Fire, I was like, wow, I, I have to, find a way to put these in. And so yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna drill a halo, um, it is going to be, it's going to read the lane similar spot as a Sherlock, except this one's going to want to keep going. And be careful because it's not, just because it's like this hook monster doesn't mean it's it's the God's gift of bowling balls. Um, there's a certain time and a certain place for this. And then for the intense fire, like I said, you know, a good ball down from like the phase two or the idol or something. So I'd really like to thank you guys for the support you've given us in the merchandise. Kyle and I launched three shirts about a month ago and you can get those over on Inside Bowling Com. Also over on Patreon, thank you guys for, for supporting us over on that. Kyle and I are on there daily, interacting, posting stuff. We try and be more social over there, so if you haven't gotten on our Patreon, uh, head on over there real quick. And also in the comment below, let me know if you guys have drilled Intense Fire or a Halo. Let me know. Let me know the layout. Let me know how you did. Uh, let me know how it is. Uh, because I'm always looking to learn and I'm always looking to share my experience with you guys. And hopefully you guys can learn and then I can learn from you guys. So, so anyway, thank you guys. See you later.